All right. Um, did you guys know that according to the um, health um, institution that there are more than half Americans that have allergies? Like, let's look at this class, for example. How many people in here are allergic to something or have had allergies before? Okay, at least half the class. There we go. So um, today I'm going to inform you about um, different types of allergies and how important they really are. Um, so everybody kind of, whoa, I did not realize it. Um, everybody kind of has like um, a mild um, allergy normally. You know, it's like more of your like cold symptoms, you know. Uh, you're sneezing, your um, nose is runny, um, kind of itchy throat, like kind of like your simple like cold um, symptoms. Those are your um, more mild um, allergies and reactions to them. But there are more severe reactions to allergies actually. Um, I know like peanuts are like really common with people. Um, there were girls in my school that couldn't even go into the cafeteria because they were having a reaction so bad just to the smell or just being around it. Um, so allergies are really important. Um, more severe ones would be not being able to breathe, swelling of the throat, tongue, um, swelling of the face, um, kind of more severe hives, things like that. Um, so I'm going to talk about something personal, kind of. Um, I actually have allergies. Um, I get some of the mild ones, but I also have some of the severe ones. Um, the first time I ever noticed it was my mom cooked a meal and after I ate the meal, I was like, my throat kind of feels a little funny. I didn't know maybe I was getting sick or something. I never ended up throwing up, but in a matter of minutes, I couldn't breathe um, at all. So my mom gave me some medicine. We kind of were like, OK, do we need to you know, act upon this? Like, what's the best option? Um, so my mom has a friend who's a nurse. And so she called her, and she said, you know, give her some Benadryl. Um, that's something easy that you can take that everybody mainly has at home that will kind of calm you down and, like, kind of get you back to, like, a normal state, hopefully. And if not, you need to act upon it. So as it says here, if there's ever an emergency um, kind of like that that you can't breathe, go ahead, call 911, head to the ER. Um, let somebody know if you're by yourself. Let somebody know that something's going on. Um, so after talking to the nurse, we decided that an EpiPen would probably be my best decision. So I brought in my EpiPens, actually. So in your box, I'll show you. Your box comes with three things. You have two EpiPens, and then you have a trainer. So obviously with me never experiencing something like that, I was a little unsure of what was needed to be done. So Right here, it says trainer clearly across the front, and it gives you your directions of what to do. Um, first, you grab it, you pull out the little um, clip at the top, and you take it to the side, and you hold it until you hear the click. So, and then it like, that's what it looks like afterwards. So you can reset it. But, um, so that is what's in an EpiPen box right here. Wow, I'm surprised. It, sorry, these pictures look like. But that's what I just showed you. And then, like I just showed you, you have your two regular EpiPens. Um, so I feel like this is really important that everyone should know, especially if you're in a situation where you see someone else having a reaction. And um, after getting my EpiPen, I was really cautious about what I ate, where I was around, um, until one time I went to a volleyball uh, camp one summer, and I didn't realize what was in the food, and once again I had a reaction. This time, thankfully, I had my EpiPen. So I was able to use it, but in the moment I was I couldn't do it personally, so I had somebody else do it for me because it's it's a lot going on. So I just feel like it's really good information for others to know what is um how to use an EpiPen. Also, um, does anyone even know what is really in an EpiPen? Okay, so it is um let me go back. All right. It's an injection that has epidephrine in it, which is a chemical that um, it narrows the blood vessels so you, can, you have better airwaves to breathe. Um, so for me, the first thing that happens is I'm um, even allergic to like the smell as well, in which others have that as well. Sometimes, like I said, some girls in my school, they couldn't even walk into the cafeteria because if they smell peanuts or peanut butter, they automatically have a reaction. So smell and taste, it's not just always a taste, or it's not always just touching something. There's different ways that you have reactions, it's just what your body, um, it's just how your body reacts. 
Um, so for me, even smelling it, I start to get, um, I start to feel a little funny. The next thing is my lips start to swell up. The next thing is my tongue starts to swell up. And before I know it, I can't breathe. Um, but an EpiPen isn't made to just like switch like back to normal so you're done with your reaction. It's only set for a time period. So it gives you about 30 minutes to an hour depending on how, um, how much of like how much medicine is in yours. Um, they base it off of what you're allergic to and how bad your reactions are. But it gives you a time period to get to the hospital. So no matter if you use EpiPen and you're like, oh yeah, I'm good, I use my EpiPen, I'm fine. No, that's only for 30 minutes to an hour. You need to then immediately call 911 or head to the ER. Um, once I headed to the ER, they once again gave me two more shots to, um, one was kind of like a steroid to get me kind of like back and going, like more energy again. Another one was um, a shot of Benadryl to kind of calm my body back down, um, get, get rid of the reaction. So over the years, um, EpiPens have become really important, and I know people don't really think that they are, but for somebody like me, like this saved my life. Who knows what would have happened if I didn't have my EpiPen with me. And um, so just be aware of other people and if they have one. Um, I know it kind of seems silly, but it's something that I can hold in my hand saved my life. So, yeah.